so nice to be home, what a productive day. I've had some really fantastic meetings today, talking about fashion week, talking about BAFTAs outfits, getting my outfit together for the BAFTAs. Also just chatting about, oh god, so many things. It's been, it's been really, really great actually. And then Alex has came to pick me up in the bush, which is always such a treat. Oh, these are good. Oh, wow. These are cool, look at these. Ete Athletica. The five kilogram weights in this gorgeous metal, like champagne metal. I mean, how schnazzy are these? Look at these are fashionable. Little dust bags for both. Oh, thank you very much to the Ete team. Also, I'm hoping that soon I'll have some updates for you guys on the new Manchester pad. I'm still not getting excited about it until I've literally signed a dotted line on that, but it's all looking exciting and all looking good. So I'll be able to tell you so much more about that. And obviously I want to like document the whole thing and document the journey and the interior design of that because I'm going to be employing an interior design team. I've been chatting with, with them about it. So yeah, that's all going ahead amazingly. There are two other things actually when it comes to home stuff that I want to show you before I forget. The first one, I haven't shown you this yet because I wasn't sure if it was available. This beautiful pot absolutely in love with it it's such a fantastic texture just really kind of organic looking we have this in the hallway i don't have anything in it because i just think it looks so beautiful on its own now, this is a collaboration piece actually a collaboration vase if any of you follow janice janice eustema on um, instagram she has Janice used to my home and she's collaborated with a brand called Camellia Living on this. I'll leave a link down below for it. You can get it now, but I'm smitten with it. I think it's such a great home piece. And honestly, I've had so many compliments from like guests that have come over and gone, oh, wow, that, that, that vase is amazing. Do you know what? I feel like I've got more leggings inside out. I mean, back to front. All day. They feel back to front. Oops. My new vase. <laughs> And then one other piece that I thought you might love, I've had this in the lounge, hanging over the sofa, this beautiful full cashmere, um, Scottish cashmere blanket. This is from Rosie Sugden um, with, and it's a collaboration with Joshua Ellis. Yeah, Scottish cashmere from Rosie Sugden. I've had a few of Rosie's beautiful cashmere pieces before, like headbands and scarves. She's just branched out into doing these gorgeous big, I mean, either throws or huge uh, wraps. And I just loved the colours of these. It's so perfect for my living room. But there are other colours as well. I think there's a blues maybe. But also I wanted to mention, these are also in sale now. I noticed they're in sale. So they're about, I think they're like 30-40% off for like 100% cashmere. And they're like, they're big. They're absolutely beautiful. I love this one. I just got it draped over the back of my sofa as like a, um, a real piece in the lounge. I don't think I've got any other home bits to show you for now because I remember I used to always show you all the home things we were getting and it was always so exciting. So I'm looking forward to when I can do that again for this Manchester flat, praying, praying that everything goes ahead fine and then I can finally start talking about it again. So that'll be, that'll be really exciting. Alex is wonderfully on with the tea. Fantastic husband, picks me up then makes me dinner. I'll have to do a peloton a little bit, but then we're going to watch The Estate, this brand new Sky Cinema film. I'm excited to say for another year, I'm going to be working with Sky Cinema. This will have a little paid for advertorial with Sky Cinema. Um, I worked with them all last year. It was one of my favorite things to work on, being able to talk to you guys about the newest films on Sky Cinema and review them. And so for people like me and Alex, who literally have so many date nights and movie nights together, it gave us not only new films to watch that maybe we might not have heard about, but but just kind of really inspired us to spend more time together. What was your favourite thing you discovered on Sky? Ooh! Oh, we watched some really great films. Well, I really liked Ghostbusters. I thought that was fantastic. What was that one we watched in your room? And it was um, the kind of cowboy film. Old Henry. Old Henry. That, that was, was it. it. That was a fantastic film. White Lotus. Love that. I mean, they're not Sky Cinema though, they're just Sky. If Sky. you're a Sky customer, then you get those amazing shows as well. We watched that but... one with Channing Tatum, that was pretty good. Oh, that was brilliant, that was brilliant. Mm -hmm. Lost City, that was brilliant actually. Yeah, so we watched some really fantastic Sky Cinema films last year. Yeah, so on Sky Cinema, you, you not only get all the blockbusters, all the new films come onto there, but also you get access to all the Sky original 
cinema films. If you're into your movies, you'll get all the Sky films as well as all the blockbusters. And I've also been watching Harry Potter <laughs> on Sky. Sky is the only place that has all the Harry Potter films as is well. It really? Yeah, yeah, can't get it anywhere else. So, I, so I'm on. Have I told you this? I'm almost at the end of. No, I'm on. I'm on number four. I'm on number four. Goblet of Fire, which actually is the last book that I ever read. I got up to book four, read that, and then went off them. So you don't know what happens after this? No. I also can't remember what happened before, because I read them when I was like 11, 12. Ooh, that smells good. Are they pine nuts? Mmm. Yeah, so tonight's film, this day, read you out just so you know what's coming, babe. Two sisters attempt to win over their terminally ill, difficult to please aunt in hopes of becoming the beneficiaries of her wealthy estate, only to find the rest of their greedy family members have the same idea. Starring Tony Collette, Anna Faris, David Duchovny, Rosemary Is that the guy from X-Files? X-Files. And Californication. And then Rosemary DeWitt and Ron Livingston. Yeah, this sounds really, really good. Oh, they've also got my favourite film! Well, what's my favourite film? You should know this. My number one film of all time. Fountain. No, that's my number two film. The Fountain is my number two film. What's my number one? Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump! I'm Forrest Gump. It's my number one film of all time. Number one is Forrest Gump. And number three is... We've never watched it together. No, I will watch it with me. It's just... It's a brilliant film! True, True romance. romance. Honestly, like um, Patricia Arquette in that What's is my film? such a badass. Your favourite film is. Oh my god, I even forgot his name. Training Day. You got mad squabbles, boy. Yeah, it is a good film. It's a good film, actually. What's his name? Denzel Washington. Denzel. Ethan Hawke. Yeah, Ethan Hawke, yeah. But if you do have Sky Guys, make sure you watch White Lotus. Oh, it's fantastic. And now we're watching The Last of Us. That's what we're on to now on Sky. It is Sky Atlantic. The next episode out is out on the 30th. It? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It is good. Oh no, it's scary. No, it's scary, but it's all makeup and special effects, isn't it? Which I find quite interesting. I don't mind zombie things. I reckon give it a, give it a couple it's... more episodes, you're gonna be crapping your pants. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> let's have dinner and then we'll go watch this film and then we can give you a review. <laughs> and go. <laughs> Okay, finished up the film, my review. It had some really, really funny moments in it, which I wasn't expecting. I wasn't sure what genre it would be, but it had like lots of really funny moments. I loved Toni Collette in it. She played a bit of a different character than what I've seen her play before, as did David Duchovny actually. I've never seen him play that kind of character, kind of a little bit silly, goofy character. It was just one of those like really easy watch films, like really light-hearted, really funny in parts, really great cast. What a lovely way to finish off the evening and now Bobo is asleep. I'm gonna go get a bath and ring Rebecca and have in-bath conversation about Fashion Week and catch up about what on earth is going on with Fashion Week plans at the moment because that's all go. And what time is it? It's like, it's half past eight now. So I can just um, go chill in the bath and then chat to Rebecca while I do that. So it's always good to do two things, be extra productive. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Good morning, guys. My eyes will not stop streaming. Literally all day yesterday and now I've just woken up, washed my face, my eyes are now streaming again. I'm gearing up to make a coffee smoothie for the morning. Really fancy one. So for a coffee smoothie, I need a banana, half a handful of cashew nuts. I need a large espresso. Got a little bit of banana protein powder from Purition. One date. A couple of macadamia nuts. Small amount of oats. Just to thicken it up, it's gonna be like a breakfast smoothie. It's quite a bit of espresso. <laughs> oh, sorry, get that all in there, why the hell not? Some milk. I'm gonna put in some ice. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. I usually call this my banana smoothie. We're still on the origin resolute coffee bean trend. First things first, for the morning, let's get some. So I'm gonna have some of this. Naked Biotics, which is like a healthy daily bacteria shot. I'm just meant to have a shot of this every day, which I have been, for good gut health. Ugh. That's the first thing. And it's lovely and it's nice and thick. So this is Americano. Honestly, it might I like how am I gonna put makeup on today? Um, and then two other things that I'm taking right now. 
I'm taking these home um, hair sweet health. So they've got biotin, folic acid, B12, and zinc in these. Um, and they're delicious. You like to take two. And they're like gummies. I only ever take gummies for vitamins. And they just taste like raspberry. Really good. Really good. But a lot of you guys have been asking me how my hair's grown so much. And I think it's because I've been taking a lot of vitamins. Well, three things. Three things, actually. Vitamins. I've been taking vitamins like daily for a couple of years now. They have biotin in them which is amazing for hair and nail strength and growth. Dyson products, like genuinely, the fact I've only been using Dyson now for a few years, not pulling at the hair, not breaking the hair the same, it's just allowed it to fully grow. And thirdly as well, I also think it's down to the shampoos and conditioners I've been using. The Redken ABC range, it's so good for your scalp, for hair growth, for strengthening the hair. So it's that, and Larry King, his hair mist again, I've been using it for a few years now, it's got rosemary oil in it, and rosemary oil is so good for hair growth. So genuinely, those three things, I think, is why my hair is so strong and so long right now, genuinely. And these are really good, huh? And then, I also take two apple cider vinegar gummies from Holland and Barrett every day as well. I'll take two of those, two of these, and a shot of that. I bet my nutritionist, Cassie, at Reverb Nutrition, I'll leave a link below if you're looking for a nutritionist. I'd love to see what she thinks of my new vitamins and, and gummies and gut health. I need, to, I need to ring her and get a take on it, actually. Right, cool. I'm gonna take these up to Alex. Head upstairs. I need to get ready. Today is a day of meetings, but also a really, really exciting appointment for... I'm going picking up my first Birkin bag. Oh my God. I've manifested this moment for about a year and a half and today it's actually happening so that's why I'm so happy and excited today. <laughs> Sorry, crazy, crazy hair lady is still here for a little longer. And I'm going to put on some skincare. La Mer sent me this two weeks ago. It's a new resurfacing treatment. My <laughs> I'm literally going to have to wear just mascara today because everything else is not going to work, is it? I do not know what's going on. This is their new resurfacing treatment. Morning and evening, use cotton pad or fingers to apply a small amount onto cleanse skin. Yeah, so this is pretty much like a very light exfoliating treatment, like essence, if you will. And I have been obsessed. Sorry, I hate, I hate that word. I've been dutifully adoring this since it came through the pores of my skin just feels smooth and beautiful and currently don't have any blemishes i don't have anything on my skin right my skin is probably looking the best it's ever looked right now i'm not saying it's due to that lamer by the way that's two weeks of use it's not broken me out it's not hurting me oh my goodness my skin right now is like a baby's bum i'm really trying to look after it at the moment so yeah i've been using the lamer i've been enjoying this augustinus bader sorry this is going to be a very a very high luxury skincare routine these are just a number of gifts that I've been given recently and of course, I mean, you know, I'm just trying to kind of use these products now that I've opened them really. So the eye cream, it's beautiful, it's hydrating, it's the kind of thickness of eye cream that I like where it's not too rich but equally it's kind of like a gel to cream formula so it, it, it just feels exactly like I love for um, creams like that. Then let's go in with Clé de Peau, the serum. Now everywhere but where the eye cream has gone and this is just going to sit over that resurfacing and it's just well it's not going to sit over it it's actually going to sink in and just get really really deep into the layers of the skin um to just to rehydrate very on a very deep level of the skin that's what's so innovative about this product that's why it's such a such a cult favorite like it works miracles underneath the into the epidermis layer of the skin so that's that and then i was actually filming a little clay de peau video yesterday as you know I'm, if you don't know i'm a clay de peau ambassador this isn't a sponsored video but yeah this is the protective fortifying emulsion it's like a really lovely lightweight cream and it's got spf 20 in it so i do love this for most days so at the moment, that is my skincare routine. Like genuinely, that's my skincare routine for the past few weeks and I am loving it. My skin is obviously loving it because like I say, I haven't broken out. My skin feels amazing. So yes, yeah, so it's just a really nice mix of lots of really, really beautiful skincare there. But genuinely, if you've been thinking about this, I really am loving this. I think it's, I think it's really brilliant. I'm gonna get some makeup on. It's gonna be very extremely lightweight makeup for the day, for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna change and come back. This eye means absolute business today. Real, real business. I'm um, 
in black, all in black, of course. I'm wearing um, a Wolford bodysuit. I need just a little wardrobe of Wolford things, to be honest, because it's, it's they're just so good as layers. And over the top, I've got this rag and bone, like sweater vest over the top, just for extra warmth and a nice little layer. Just like water, it's just coming out of my head today. Mm. So let me tell you about today. First of all, I've just got a couple of meetings, like other business related actually. And one of them is meeting a really wonderful PR who is just so, so lovely. I'm looking forward to seeing him today. I'm using Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear in shade uh, 105W. So I you'd wear in something a little bit higher coverage today, why not? Oh, sorry, by the way, I also, just before this, applied the, the La roche Posay SPF 50 as well. I did that off camera just before I put my uh, clothes on. Um, yeah, I'm just putting this on with the Vive brush, with this Vive uh, highlight brush. And then I'm just gonna use a sponge and pat that in. I'm just gonna use the Tint Ultra Wear Concealer 010. It's either 110 or 010. But in between these meetings, I am going to go and pick up my Hermes Birkin. I'm not telling you more about it until I literally get it and I can actually unbox it with you in this video. I've managed to find my dream bag, pre-loved, on Luxury Promise. Like I was saying, I was looking constantly at Luxury Promise to see if they had anything coming in. in the style and colour and finish that I wanted. In the end, I just messaged them and was like, guys, is there any way that you can try and find one for me? <laughs> I'm losing my patience now. I just, I just really want this bag. I've been manifesting it for a year and a half. I would really like this particular bag. And they were like, yep, yeah, we will we'll source it for you. So they found me it. They've literally found me the dream bag. Um, and I couldn't be more thrilled. They're so great there, honestly, they're so great. Just so you know, I am paying for this bag. Before anyone starts saying I'm not, I'm paying for this bag. But they have so kindly sourced it for me. They found it for me. Pre-loved. I love the idea of having a pre-loved. The pre-loved bags that I already have are my favourites in my collection. With pre-loved, you've got to you've got to remember that you can choose any condition as well with pre-loved. That's what's so nice about it. So, if you are wanting, so God, this this lighting is making me look so yellow. I promise, in real life, I'm not that yellow. So much better, but you just can't really see me all that well. It's just not quite light enough outside to give me enough light on my face. So you can choose what kind of condition you, can, you want. Not every bag is going to be super vintagey and overly worn. If you want to put a stamp on your own bag, there'll be pre-loved bags that you can pick up that are definitely of the condition that you want. Oh, do you know what? I'm actually going to use this for my bronzer. Sorry, I was doing this routine yesterday on a TikTok, so that's why I've still got everything on my desk. This is in shade, it's either 435 or 7. It's quite confusing, but this is just obviously a much, much, much deeper shade for me. And yesterday when I wore it as a contour, it looked absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to do that again. It looked really, really nice. And at the moment, buying certain sizes of Hermes bags pre-loved is sometimes a better option than buying them brand new. Because obviously if you're going to try and buy a tiny little bag pre-loved, from Hermes, like a small Kelly or something like that, it's gonna cost you a lot more, like pre-love. The pre-love market charges more for the really smaller, slightly more on-trend bags. Um, however, if you're going for a larger bag, there isn't quite as much of a trend for them right now, although I know Claire Chanel, I speak to Claire Chanel a lot about lots of different things, but she is the queen of Hermes bags. Um, she gives me a lot of advice, she's so, she's so great. She was like, you know what, I think the large Hermes bags are gonna come on back in again. So that's why I've been kind of keen to buy a slightly larger Hermes bag and get it pre-loved, because I knew that I'd be able to, one, hopefully be able to get it from somewhere <laughs> that isn't an Hermes boutique, um, because, ugh, yeah. As much as I appreciate what they're doing with that and keeping it exclusive, I think that everyone should be able to buy the things they want to buy without being, you know, having to play a game to buy something. I know that that's the way the luxury market works, it's fine, but I, it's not something I personally love. So I'd much rather just get the bag that I like without the, the hassle and the stress and feeling like I'm not wanted in a store, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that's why I thought it would be the best option for me to look pre-loved for this particular bag. Uh, and Luxury Promise is only getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They're, they're just becoming huge when it comes to um, luxury pre-loved market. And I've been loyal to those guys for 
so long now. I mean, I've, I've said it before, my Hermes, my Hermes Kelly is from them. My, my Chanel Coco top handle is from them. This Hermes blanket is from those guys. And it's got, I've got a few other things as well that I've bought from Luxury Promise as well. So, you know, it's a brand I really love. I've invested in myself. Like they're a brand I really, really love. I just need to blend this a little bit more. I mean, everything's looking crazy on this camera right now, but I promise in real life it looks great. The Clay de Pearl blush in number 201. This, this might be a limited edition one, but if it is, the other cream blushes are just wonderful. I love them, like genuinely love them. They just look so beautiful and healthy and natural. So I'm going to their new offices today to pick up the bag. They've got it holding for me and also so I can look at it fully in person and just check that I absolutely love her before I buy her and take her away today. So that's, that's the plan. So I'm actually going buying this incredible bag today. It's a big, exciting day for me, it really is. Like, you guys know how much I've been really desperate for this bag. It's just when you get something in your head that you'd really, really like, it doesn't really leave my head, so. And honestly, for me, I don't think this is the start of me buying more. I just want this one bag, and I've got my other two, and that's all, you know, I, like, like I say, I'm, as much as I am excited about this bag, I'm not a big, like, Hermes collector or, I appreciate people who do invest a lot in Hermes bags um, and also their excitement for them. Oops, it is here. For a lot of people as well, it's an investment thing and if you've got the money to invest in them, you can actually make a lot of money back by then selling them later because they go up so much. It's like, it's like buying artwork when you buy one, you can then sell it for a lot more later. So actually, for some people, it's actually more of a, a money-making investment thing, which is clever. Yeah, there's just, I'm not as, into it as, as that and that's fine you know but this one bag is gorgeous and i particularly want it for a number of reasons which i'll tell you about later when i actually show you it yeah so just a really exciting day for me today actually Ooh, love this lipstick as well <laughs> sorry this is not a lancome ad by the way this is not a lancome ad i'm just i've been working on a few things otherwise and they're just on my desk but this this lipstick 510 i keep in my new lipstick drawer it's one of my faves. It's such a great shade. It's matte. Perfect, perfect nude look. It's really, really great. That's 510. This is coming together. I think what I'm going to do is literally just do some brows and put on some mascara. And do you know what mascara I'm going to use? Sorry, but it's Lancome again and it's the Idol Lash Idol. I used it again yesterday for the first time in um, ages, actually. Last, because the last time I used it, I ran out of it. Forgot to buy it again, because obviously I get so many different beautiful samples, I forget. Um, so, and then I tried it yesterday and was like, I forgot how fantastic this is. I am desperate for a lash lift as well. I need to book in with Nouveau Lashes and get another one ASAP, because they're starting to drop a little bit. Well, they don't drop as such. They just start to go a bit haywire when you have an LVL lash lift. Let me turn this off, it's annoying me how, like, how look how gorgeous and glowy and like bronzy I look. So much better without that on. That's what you can see. 8.25, I've got an hour, that's good. An hour to air wrap this hair up a bit. I'm just excited about this bag and I hope that you appreciate my excitement. I realise it's a very expensive purchase as well. I know that, but like I say, I'm hoping at least for a long time now it's the last Hermes that I buy and it's just my investment and I can use it. Anyway, I'm going to try and take my camera with me today, bring you along because I actually haven't been to these offices, this like head office of uh, Luxury Promise myself and they've just moved so I thought you might be intrigued and also like the Hermes collections that they have that I'm pretty sure they are one of the biggest resellers of Hermes in the world at this point. And so their Hermes collection that you can buy is astounding. It's absolutely amazing. So I thought you guys might be intrigued to see that as well. So I thought I'd bring you along. So excited. Right, let me just get the rest of my face done and I'll um, be back. What time is it? 9.03. Perfect, perfect. You've got to set your hair guys, you've got to prep and set. So we got my um, sister-in-law an air wrap for Christmas. She's always wanted one. She's like, right, how do I use it? And I said, go on my Instagram. I've got loads of like reels and tutorials on how I like to use the air wrap to get the most out of it. And she did it. 
and I said to her, you've got to prep your hair on every single strand that you saw me do it. I use the, uh, I've been using this guy, this Shuya Mura Suki Shape Blow Dry Spray. It's badass. I literally, I just happened to be buying something the other day on like Look Fantastic that I needed and I saw it come up and I was like, I'm getting this. It's really, really good. So I was like, you've got to prep each piece and then you have to set it with spray. And honestly, she sent me a picture of her doing it for the first time ever. She looked unbelievable. Her hair was bigger than this. And I was like, whoa. She's like, babe, I followed your routine to a T. And it looks like this. I was like, yes. I was like, it works. It works. The routine works. I mean, it's quite big right now. And honestly, it's a bit big for how I'd want it to be. But this will drop a little bit. But you'll still keep that bouncy... The bouncy ends is what you want, that healthy, bouncy, like, blow-dried ends to your hair. Last but not least, I just need some of the Larry King Social Life Cream. I go through so many of these. And you get the little brush as well. And if you get the travel kit, the flyaway kit, and I just do all my little flyaways, because obviously, being blonde, you get a lot of these. So do that, and then spray that up. I mean, I don't want to lose... Lots of volume, but equally I don't want the fly away, so needs must. Okay, done. She wasn't quite liking my eyes with like nothing, nothing on them. That's quite nice. That's quite pretty and fresh, doesn't it? Looks really nice. Put on a bit of balm, a bit of the Armani, Armani balm. Oh, it's so nice. This is so good. All right, sorry, that's been a long get ready with me there, guys. I need to get ready to go pick up my Hermes bag. And we're ready for the day. Okay, today's outfit, very much my current aesthetic. My Dior boots, I got these from Vista Village. This, they were such a good purchase, I've worn them so much. My totem leggings, things I was wearing before, and this Isabel Morant oversized blazer over top. And I will also probably throw a coat over this too, seeing as it's freezing. And then I'm also gonna take out my Hermes Kelly 28 as well. This is like a little tiny pop of color. Quite fancy wearing her today, seeing as I'm on an Hermes day and all. Um, yeah, so this is me. I'm just inside the new luxury, I promise, head offices and also showroom. So obviously it's currently being built and being constructed, but what a space, this looks like an old bank. So it's enormous. Up there is where they go live. And then all down here, of course, will be a full showroom, sofas, all the clothes laid out. There'll be screens up showing the live shows. In a few weeks, actually, I'm back here for the opening event. So I'll be able to show you the transformation from all the boxes to like a full, like the full thing. So, so excited for the team. Like they've just worked so hard to get to this point and it's, it's blowing my mind. Oh, I just love supporting women who just do such amazing things, like business women. So inspiring to me. Anyway, I have my bag. I can't wait to show you this guys. So as you saw, I went and picked up the bag. Before that though, I had a wonderful meeting with the Alberta Ferretti Moschino team, which was so nice, the most incredible omelette of my life. Um, and then I just had another meeting and now I'm going to go and have a meeting with a brand who um, I'm actually an, an investor with them. So it's one of those days where I'm kind of meet lots of people, be really inspired and just having such a good time. Plus I picked up my bag, so I'm very, very excited about today. <laughs> good morning, everyone. I have a day in London today. One thing I am doing is a Clay de Po skin and makeup masterclass. So I'm gonna wear my beautiful blue suit for it. So I'm gonna take it into London to change later just so that I don't like crease it throughout the day. Packing everything up, I've got my heels to wear, also clay to do my makeup and I'm quite liking my hair, it's kind of a bit undone but very me, my natural and bouncy so I think we're all good. I just need to make sure that I take this with me. So this is a really great dust bag. You get these really Sloan dust bags with the my white coat that I got recently. I have to show you this bag and unbox it just so I can, so I can rest it easy. I just want to, I want to be able to show you quickly. Right, here we go. So I carried it home yesterday in a luxury promise bag, which I really appreciated because I said I didn't really want to be walking through central London and around Harrods with a big Hermes box. 
it was like obviously a mess. They had two bags that I was choosing between. One was in Togo leather and then one was in Epsom leather. Let me just show you it and then I can talk you through everything else. So this is my brand new bag. So it came in its box and dust bag. It's got like the rain jacket. It's got the lock. Oh my goodness, honestly, like the amount that I have desired this bag is crazy. Like, it, like I said, it was on my manifestation board last year and this year. And I can't believe it's finally mine. Here she is. My Birkin 35 in Epsom leather, black with gold hardware. She still has the plastics on, like that's how much she's not been used. She's pre-loved. She is 2011, I think, is her date. Literally, whoever had this bag before just has not used this bag. Like, there's no scratches on the feet. It has just not been used. It's like it's been sat beautifully on a shelf to be admired. And so she's just absolutely, absolutely perfect. Let's look up close. I can't believe it. My first, my first Birkin. The one that I've just been absolutely desperate to get. The main reason I really wanted the Birkin 35 is two reasons mainly. The size is perfect for travel and for work. I really wanted a beautiful immersed bag that I can take into London with my laptop in it for when I go to work meetings. But also for travel, it will fit so much in here when I'm going away. And I just, again, I want to take my laptop and I want to take my essentials. And so this bag for me is the most usable large bag. Like I have my beautiful Kelly 25. It's more of like a day bag if I go to like one meeting. Whereas I wanted something that was so usable and versatile. So when I got to Luxury Promise, they had two bags waiting for me to have a look at so I could kind of assess which I love most. There was this one and then there was another in Togo leather. Originally I'd been wanting Togo leather because I really liked that more like slumped look, quite relaxed feel to leather. When actually when I saw the Epsom and I realised that this won't slump and sort of um, relax in the same way as the Togo, this to me feels a little bit more me, I guess. I feel like it's it's got that like super charm of the large Birkin 35, but with a tiny bit more structure. Like it isn't Cellier, it's just Epsom but it just feels a little tiny bit more in shape and that's why I was like no this one's amazing plus this one had the plastics on it it was a little bit more kind of new condition and that's what I wanted so this is the one that I ended up buying uh, yesterday and I love her I'm so thrilled now I have my three beautiful Hermes bags I have my Birkin 35 I have my Amber Kelly 25 and yesterday I went out and about with my, my vintage 1972 Kelly 28 as well. It's gorgeous dark blue. Yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled to be it. I'm so happy. I absolutely love her. I'm so grateful to Luxury Promise and to Sabrina for sourcing this for me and finding my dream bag. I could not be more grateful to those guys. I just so highly recommend their services. That's where I got my Amber Kelly. It's where I've got a few other things, like I said. They're just such fantastic ladies and gents who just adore the industry. They adore luxury bags and Hermes especially, and they just know what they're talking about. And so for someone like me who doesn't know a lot, but just wanted a really beautiful bag, they were the people to go to. You know, there's no egos, there's no making you feel intimidated or unwelcome. It's just about finding you your perfect dream bag. Um, and this was mine. Let me know what you think. I can't wait to take her out and about. I cannot wait. Anyway, I need to get going. I would love to take her today to London, but I haven't, I really want to film like an Instagram unboxing and TikTok unboxing and all, all of the unboxings before I do so. And then she can have her day in the sun. Look at this. Bath oil? Clay de bath oil. Very limited. So this is the event space for tonight's Clay de Poe masterclass. It could not be more Clay de Poe in theme and colour and aesthetic. And then look at all of the products all laid out. We're going to go along the line, start with skincare and then work into makeup. So I think that we're going to, instead of going for the creme, we're going to go for the protective fortifying emulsion, which you guys know is kind of like my everyday SPF 20, a bit of a lighter cream, again an amazing base for makeup. Um, eye cream, 
There is some primer, but we might skip that and move straight into foundation. Of course, Radiant Cream Foundation is my uh, absolute fave. And then we've got the concealers. And we're going to do concealer plus contour with, uh, this is shade 13, I think. And then we've got shade 3 blush. Um, again, these are some of my favourite cream blushes. They're just so beautiful to apply. I'm just taking off my makeup, by the way. I just, in fact, I'm just using Micellar cleansing water to take on my makeup off, so I'm kind of ready to go. And then we have a few of the illuminators for highlight, and we have this beautiful eyeshadow. I mean, what is this colour? There is no sticker. I'll try and link it down below, the one we use. And then we've got the lipsticks. This is Exuberant, the shade Exuberant. That's what we're going to use, I think. And then one of the lip glosses. What we're also going to do, obviously, mascara, liner, brow, lip liner, all of that kind of thing. It's going to be a bit of everything and then a full fix. So, super exciting. I'm just in the bathroom, Sir Harris. Um, yeah, very much excited about this event. Sorry, the uh, toilet's going on. Very much excited about the event. I've got my blue suit with me, so I'm changing that now. A few people have already started to arrive. It's been a really great day. I had a meeting this morning, then I've just had like a three hour meeting with my team to go over lots of new ideas. And then now we're here for the Harris event, so. We are a luxury brand, we, being a Japanese brand, really concentrate on innovation as well. So all of our products have incredible claims to them. She's got no makeup on and she looks absolutely incredible. The skin is radiant, so our radiant ambassador is doing her job. The fact obviously it's full of so many beautiful ingredients and innovation, just, it just makes me love it so much. The way, you know, the way you've explained it is perfect because with Radiant Cream Foundation, um, it essentially is a full coverage foundation without looking like a full coverage foundation. So it basically looks like skin, just as you said. We've just come up to Kamsha. Everyone is getting their goodie bags. I've had such a wonderful time. So Molly has just done my makeup with all of the beautiful Clay de Pro products. So now everyone's just getting their goodie bags and trying out the products. It's just really, really wonderful. I've had the most fantastic time.